Hi my loves, happy Friday. I hope you all are doing fantastic. I also wanted to say happy new year. I hope you all had a wonderful time ringing in the new year. I hope it was relaxing for you, fun for you, safe for you. I just hope that all of you are having a really good start to your year. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about seven of the most basic pieces that you will absolutely need in your wardrobe this year. I feel like January is usually the month where people like to do resets and they like to do refreshes of their home and they like to, you know, clean out their closets and just like update their wardrobe and stuff. And in all honesty, I genuinely do think that that is like a wonderful idea. I think that resetting your closet and just having a nice little refresh is so wonderful to do. I think that it just, I don't know, it's just a really good cleanse for your environment and for your space. But I also wanna make sure that if you guys are doing something like a reset that you are still keeping and holding on to those key pieces that will absolutely last you all season long, all year long, perfect pieces to transition from year to year, again, season to season. These are my key staple seven pieces that I will always keep in my wardrobe no matter how many wardrobe clear outs I do these are my good seven basics these are the pieces that I wore so many times last year and the year before that as well and you know if you guys have been following me you guys definitely would have seen these pieces a bunch of times already so that is what today's video will be about before we get into the video though if you guys are new to my channel hi hello my name is Brittany and I love to talk about beauty and fashion and style and all of that fun stuff if you guys aren't already following me make sure that you guys follow me over on my other social media platforms as well so instagram TikTok, Pinterest. Um, as I always say, I am most active over on Instagram. So definitely make sure you guys follow me over there. I'm always posting stories and stuff like that. And yeah, I don't know. I just, that's my favorite app to be on. So definitely make sure you guys follow me over there. If you guys do like these kinds of videos, please feel free to give this video a like and a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. Also, everything that I talk about in this video, even though I've had all these pieces for a while now. I will still definitely try and link everything down below. I'll certainly try and link like similar options down below as well. Cause like I said, I've had most of these pieces for a while. So yeah, this video is not gonna be super long or anything. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get right into the video. So the very first piece that literally everybody needs in their wardrobe, it doesn't matter like where you're going or what you're doing. You need to have this piece in your wardrobe and that is going to be a basic black blazer. I have talked about basic black blazers at nauseum at this point. Like I'm always talking about how well you can style up a basic black blazer, whether it's during the springtime, summertime, wintertime, holiday season, with anything. There's so many ways to wear a basic black blazer. I have this one right here from H&M, which is like one of my favorite ones. It's like a boyfriend cut. It's really long. It's lightweight. It's just easy to wear. I mean, I've worn this blazer so many times. I've styled it up so many ways. Again, if you guys are following me, you guys literally saw me style up basic black blazer in literally every way possible last year. I do think that January is definitely a great month to just kind of go through your wardrobe and um, refresh some things, clean out some things, but also it's a great season to actually add things in as well. So if you don't have a good fitting black blazer or if you have one that's a little dingy or a little old, or let's say the buttons are falling off or the lapels aren't staying down, now would be the perfect time to go out and get you a really good black blazer because you will definitely have it forever but a black blazer would definitely be my number one recommendation to have in your wardrobe um, as one of like your good core basics for forever so the next item that i feel is a really good core basic piece to have in your wardrobe is going to be a basic black slip dress so it can either be a mini one or a midi one i just feel like just having a good simple black little strappy dress like this is just absolutely quintessential to have in your wardrobe i love this dress i actually got this dress from the brand laglacy i've talked about laglacy a couple times on my channel i love their pieces they're like a smaller online style brand but they have like really really good pieces i ended up getting this i want to say back in 20 21 and it's just still one of my favorite dresses i've worn it during the 
summer season of course during the spring season i've worn it in the holiday season like this like this piece right here goes so well with like tights and really pretty like sparkly shoes and of course a blazer on top it's just a really good quintessential piece to have in your wardrobe there's just so many ways that you can dress up a dress like this you can dress it up of course you can also dress it down as well you can definitely wear something like this to work like again just putting on a black blazer over it or um you can also do like the whole turtleneck undershirt style with a dress like this so you can do like a basic black turtleneck with this and then put the um put the dress over it so so many ways to style up a basic black little slip dress like this and again i just feel like this is one of those pieces that everybody needs to have in their wardrobe because it is just a good core quintessential piece for your wardrobe. <laughs> so the next item that I feel that's going to be a really good must-have piece in your wardrobe this year are a pair of like faux leather leggings. I have these from Spanx. I think Spanx makes the most popular style. Um, number one, they like suck you in. They fit really well. I believe these also come in like different lengths as well. I have these in a medium and I want to say I have like three or four pairs of these. I love these faux leather leggings so much. They just fit really well. There are so many ways to wear a pair of faux leather leggings. I have worn these with sneakers. I have worn these with a sweatshirt. I've worn these um, with a blazer dressed up. I've worn these with like a really pretty dressy top. There are so many ways to wear faux leather leggings. I think faux, faux leather leggings look good on so many people. I just love them. They just add a little bit of extraness to every outfit, but the great thing about them is that they're still a legging, so they're super comfortable, especially during like the holiday season. Like I wore these so much during the holiday season because we're eating so much, we're with family, we're relaxing. And these were just so comfortable to throw on with like a sweater. But I also feel like, you know, again, during the summertime, th throwing heels with these or sandals with these in a really cute like dressy top and you have a look. Again, there's just so many ways to wear these leggings and I absolutely love them. So I would highly, highly recommend you guys definitely get a pair of these in your wardrobe this year. You will not regret them. You will find yourself wearing these kind of leggings all year for all seasons. And um, yeah, I just feel like these are another core piece that you need in your wardrobe. So the next piece that I feel is a good staple or good basic piece for your wardrobe this year are gonna be a pair of skinny jeans. Um, I love skinny jeans. I know that like people tried to like cancel skinny jeans at one point, but skinny jeans are not going anywhere. They're very flattering on so many people. They look really good, especially when you can find a pair that like just works for your body, works for your height. I just feel like they are a really good universal cut of denim. I have have these of course from Abercrombie. Abercrombie makes my favorite jeans in general but especially skinny jeans and I just really really love these. These are the super skinny ankle high-rise jeans um, from the Curve Love collection. That's my favorite collection. I just really adore these jeans. I like the way that they're cut. You can do a light wash or a dark wash. Um, I have so many washes of skinny jeans from Abercrombie and I just love them. I love dressing them down during the summertime. I love dressing them up. You know, if I'm going out, I love um, putting them with like a blazer or a turtleneck. I wore these a lot with bodysuits during the winter season, like a good mock neck bodysuit and a pair of skinny jeans. It's like just, just a perfect, very simple, very understated look. Of course, you can put it with like really pretty dressy tops, depending on where you work at. If you work someplace where you can get away with being a little bit more casual, like skinny jeans are perfect to wear with like ballet flats or of course heels and like a blazer or like a really pretty cardigan on top. Um, it's just so many ways to wear a pair of skinny jeans. Do not get rid of your skinny jeans. Keep your skinny jeans in your wardrobe. You will definitely need them. You will definitely want to style them up. Um, they look great with boots as well. Like I just feel like skinny jeans are that piece that I think you don't need and then you go and you grab it and you put it on and you're like, oh my God, yes, I definitely needed these. Skinny jeans are just going to be that piece that is so transitional. You know, it like basically goes with anything and um, it's just, I don't know, skinny jeans are just never going out of style and I just feel like everybody needs a pair of good skinny jeans in their wardrobe but just find a good pair of skinny jeans that works for you and hold on to those jeans because i promise you i promise you you will be wearing them a lot in 12 months so <laughs> Definitely need a good pair of skinny jeans. So the next quintessential basic that I feel everybody needs in their wardrobe is going to be a good 
oversized white shirt. You guys already know, if y'all know me, that I had to include a good basic oversized white shirt. I am such a big fan of a good classic oversized white shirt. There's so many different brands that carry good oversized white shirts like this. Um, also, just a little tip, you can also just go to the men's section of almost any store and just go and get a oversized white shirt. Like this one right here actually is a men's shirt, but it just fits really, really well. I love it. But you can really just never go wrong with a good oversized white shirt. You can wear it during the summertime. You can wear it during the winter time. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with leggings. You can wear it with bike shorts. Like there's so many ways to style up a basic white shirt like this. I've had this one for a while now. I have many like oversized white shirts and yeah I just really like that look. I think that that look looks very I don't know just it gives me like just classic American simplistic. Gives me a very very just classic feel and I've never ever seen anybody with a good oversized white shirt look bad. There's so many ways that you can wear it. You can wear it with skirts. You can wear it with just so many things. I just feel like a good basic oversized white shirt is going to be another big staple that everybody needs in their wardrobe this year. So another item that I feel is a really good basic to have in your wardrobe this year is going to be a basic black bodysuit. It does not matter if it has a cutout, if it's a turtleneck, if it's strappy, um, if it's a mock neck. Just a good basic black bodysuit this year will just get you so far. <laughs> I have this one right here, this little cutout one from Abercrombie that I love. I've worn this a couple times but of course you guys have seen me literally talk about and feature so many different styles of basic black bodysuits. I love a good basic black bodysuit because it's just one of those pieces again that can be worn so many different ways. You can wear it underneath the blazer, underneath the sweater, wear it by itself, wear it with jeans, wear it with the skirt, wear it going out, wear it to work. Like there's so many ways to wear a good basic black bodysuit. Of course it's in a neutral color which by the way everything that I'm talking about is in a neutral color and and just to like segue to that really quickly I personally feel like Everything that you get when you're talking about your basics should be in a neutral color. You know, neutrals are just fantastic pieces to have in your wardrobe because you can add in pops of color with your accessories, with your bags, with your shoes. Um, of course, each one of these pieces can be put with other pieces that are colorful as well. But as long as you have your good staple basic core pieces like this and in your neutral colors, I just think that that is absolutely important to have in your wardrobe. So like I was saying, a good basic black bodysuit is definitely something that I personally will be keeping in my wardrobe all year long. It's not going anywhere. In fact, I'm probably gonna add more basic black bodysuits in my wardrobe and just neutral colors in general. They're just so easy to wear. You don't have to think about it and they can be worn with anything. So a good basic black bodysuit or a neutral bodysuit is definitely a staple to have this year. And then the last piece that I feel is a good basic staple to have in your wardrobe this year is going to be a black skirt. It doesn't matter if it's a midi skirt or a mini skirt. Just a good basic black skirt is something that I personally feel is a good staple to have in your wardrobe. If you don't have a black skirt, there are so many brands of course that carry black skirts. This one is from Zara and it was definitely one of my favorite skirts that I wore last year. Again, it's just a good basic simple like basic skirt to have. Black skirts, whether they be mini length or midi length, of course, be worn to work. They can be worn out. You can wear them to brunch. You can wear them on a date night. You can take them on vacation. They can just be worn so many different ways. You can wear a good basic black skirt with a graphic tee during the summertime or with a sweater, with a bodysuit, with a mock neck bodysuit, with a with a top like this. I mean, you can wear a black skirt with so many different things. It's just a good universal staple piece to have in your wardrobe. I just feel like this is gonna be another good core piece that you should have in your closet. All right, my love, so that is it. Those are gonna be my seven core staple pieces that I feel that everybody should have in their wardrobe this year. I just feel like these pieces are very universal. If you are somebody who is thinking about just having a capsule wardrobe, these would be my pieces for my capsule wardrobe. Just because they can be mixed and matched so many different ways. They're never ever going out of season. Like every piece that I talked about here will never ever go out of season, never ever go out of style, and they are here to stay. So yeah, those are gonna be my good core seven like pieces that you need in your wardrobe. All right, my loves, and with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous Friday. Be safe, have a wonderful weekend. I love you, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.
I love.